So in this video, we are going to uh, list all of the users onto the user list screen. Okay, it's uh, similar to uh, what we have done for the products. We, it's just that we are doing the same for the users as well. Okay, so that we can uh, any admin can edit the user and make the particular user an admin, or can also delete the user except for the one who is actually controlling it. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, start with this. So uh, since we have already done this for the products, so you have a good idea of what are we going going to do so if you want you can just um, skip this video and you can just try this uh, everything on your own okay so anyways i'm going to uh, get started with this so i'm first going to create a controller to get all of the different users that we have in our database all right so within the user controller so let's go right at the bottom and create a function to get all the users all right so const get users set this to a function within the async handler async which takes in the request and the response and uh, right now we are going to um, use the user model again okay, store it in a variable called users and set this to await user dot find so this will go ahead and find all of the users uh, within our database without providing any uh, arguments inside this and we are going to uh, send this in the form of a response so rest dot json that is users all right so let's export this get users all right so now let's uh, create a route to get all of these users so i'm going to the users routes user routes and uh, uh, let's see so let's go right at the top and uh, create a function since uh, we have already experienced this before it right? so it's just like uh, we are going to give a route of slash that is api slash users and then uh, make a get request to uh, get all the users okay so i'm going router dot route so that is slash that is api slash users and we are going to um, make a post request to um, you know uh, get get all uh, users so the get users function so get users and uh, remember we need to also uh, protect this not just to, to be logged in but also an admin so i'm going to use those middlewares protect and is it uh, sorry an admin like that and uh, yeah that's it so do, remember don't uh, put this at the bottom otherwise it won't work it will just uh, give you that error which uh, you know i was also not able to figure out in my previous videos okay so uh, i guess we need to import protect and admin our uh, router is now created to get all the users so now let's go to the front end and create a, um, a user slice to get all of the users and then pass it on to our ui okay so let's go to the client and within the uh, slices uh, we have the users API slice right so let's uh, create another endpoint to fetch all of the users so i'm just going to um, uh, probably i can just duplicate any one of these uh, anyways let's uh, create one to get users and set this to builder dot mutation and this will uh, take in the query and uh, uh, sorry not mutation since we are getting uh, making a get request so this should be query okay so here we are going to uh, pass in the particular url okay so we are not going to pass in any arguments so the url is going to be just uh, the users url so users url like that and uh, then we are going to make a uh, yeah that's it and also we need to uh, like uh, store the cache right so so that whenever it makes another request it will uh, get from the cache so we have already done this uh, for the products api slice so uh, where is that um, so keep unused data for so we can just copy this and uh, go and paste it here like that and uh, maybe you need to give a comma here and let's say now export this use uh, get users query like that and uh, seems like something is wrong here so this should actually be uh, returned so this is an implicit return where you, you just need to uh, wrap it inside a, a parentheses like that and uh, let's save this and now let's uh, go and create uh, 
a page where we can uh, you know list all of the different users in the form of a table and map across all the users that we have and uh, let, let's just uh, spread them all uh, like in our table whatever we have so now i'm going to my uh, screens and uh, the pro the users list screen okay so uh, we have already created this uh, skeleton in one of those previous videos so now let's go ahead and paste in our actual jsx which you will also find within this uh, jsx folder which will be uh, which you can find find it on github okay so uh, since in order to avoid any kind of uh, like typing so i can just uh, paste that uh, jsx in and uh, now we are this is just a empty table okay with the headers so we have the uh, id of the user the name the email uh, the status of uh, is the uh, user and admin or not and then the actions to edit the user or delete okay so so if we go to admin slash users okay which you can also uh, find here so you will find this uh, empty table okay with uh, all these headers like the id of the user name email uh, if the users an admin or uh, and the actions okay so we will be having two buttons to edit and delete okay so we'll be now uh, mapping across all the users that we have in our database uh, so one by one in the form of a table okay so let's go and do that so i have left i have left this um, table body hollow in order to uh, you know map across whatever the users we have in our uh, database okay so first let's uh, go ahead and grab uh, grab all of the users using the use get users mutation so i'm going to destructure the data and uh, i can call this users all right and then let's get the uh, is loading and then uh, if there's any error in fetching so we can uh, not like this so if there's any uh, error in fetching all right and also let's get the refetch function so that if we delete any user it has to get the fresh data refetch and that is coming from use get users query and uh, let's call that and now let's uh, go ahead and map across all the users that we have so uh, i'm just going inside the table body and opening our expression saying users dot map okay so for uh, every user that we have so we are going to uh, return some jsx okay so we can just call this like this and uh, we are going to return uh, the table row okay within the tr tag and uh, some reason i think is wrong like that and uh, let's give the unique key prop that is user dot underscore id all right and then uh, give the class name of uh, like we want to center the text okay so whatever we have within our tables so text dash center and uh, within our uh, table row we are going to uh, like uh, pass in the table data okay so inside that i'm going to um, you know what i can just uh, copy this whatever we have within our table head and uh, we can just uh, paste this here and then we are just going to change this uh, particular values inside that with this uh, user information whatever it has so first of all let's uh, replace this with the data instead of heading i created this uh, mistake earlier on so that's why it was showing in bold text okay so table data and uh, let's change this to user dot name in the email all right then the sorry your uh, email should be here so this should be id and then the name okay i can just copy this user dot uh, what was this email and then the uh, user dot is admin is admin okay so we are going to check this uh, if it is true then we are going to say yes else no like that and uh, then here we are going to uh, like create two buttons in order to edit and uh, delete okay so uh, probably we can just go to the uh, product list screen and just uh, grab whatever the but two buttons we have in order to you know save some time in typing so since we have already done that so within our product list screen we have this uh, button right so we can just uh, copy this and then go to our uh, user list screen and paste it over there so we can just replace this actions with that 
with this button and we can just get rid of this on click handlers which will be uh, uh, you know uh, handling this uh, in the next video yeah so everything is working fine now um, i guess we can just have a look at what what do we do we have in our um, front end okay so we'll be handling this uh, this loading error and refetch all that uh, later okay so let's have a look so just a small mistake uh, this should be a get request and uh, not a post request okay so i don't know why did i type in post maybe because it's been a habit to me so anyways uh, so let's now have a look at what do we have okay so this is our uh, admin slash user so if i refresh uh, still there's a problem mm. what's the so um, maybe it's not uh, trying to fetch all the users do we have the user yeah there we go i guess uh, i just need to refresh it once uh, so i can just close this okay so we have all the users okay so with the status of is admin so at the moment uh, we have this uh, admin user okay so who is actually an admin so we have this uh, flag of is admin to yes okay so and we also have this uh, buttons to edit or delete okay so that's uh, all working fine so since i'm an admin so i do not want to edit myself okay so i just uh, want to disable this uh, edit or delete button uh, since uh, we do not want to you know edit ourselves so let's uh, go ahead and uh, render this uh, conditionally so if the user um, is himself okay who's uh, who's having a look at this page then we do not want this buttons to show up okay so let's go and uh, handle this within our um, with that user list screen um, we have this uh, table button okay with these uh, with these buttons okay so we can uh, we can just uh, you know uh, collapse this not not here uh, with this uh, table data so we can uh, put a condition here saying that if the user dot is admin property okay if uh, that is uh, true only then uh, we are if that is true we do not want to show this button okay so we can just uh, use a negation here uh, is everything good yeah so everything looks good so now let's have a look yeah so we do not have the button over there or uh, any admin for that matter okay so let's say i am an admin okay so um, even uh, the admin shouldn't be able to snatch uh, someone else's uh, admin property or edit uh, details of another admin okay so I, I guess that's not the right way in the next video we will be uh, handling this uh, edit and delete functionalities for the user okay so we will be creating a form with all the user uh, information and uh, a button to update and also uh, same just like we did for the products okay so if we click on delete it should ask us if we want to delete so we can uh, like you know confirm that and delete okay so let's uh, go ahead and uh, do this in the next video